If the world warms by one degree, the Arctic is ice-free for half the year, opening the legendary Northwest Passage for ships. Tens of thousands of homes around the Bay of Bengal are flooding. Hurricanes begin hitting the South Atlantic. Severe droughts in the western U.S. cause shortages in global grain and meat markets. This could be our world plus one degree. At one degree additional warming to today, we're likely to see the emergence of new deserts in the western half of the United States, from Texas in the south right up to the Canadian border, is in danger of becoming new hyper-arid areas where really no crops can be grown at all. The Earth's average temperature has always fluctuated, and a variable climate isn't unusual. It's the pace of climate change today that's unprecedented. If you had asked us 10 or 20 years ago, what would be the impact of one or two degrees additional warming? We would say, well, probably we can live with that. NASA climate scientist James Hansen was one of the first to sound the alarm about global warming. The threat has only escalated as he struggled to be heard. What we realize now is that we're getting so close to tipping points that we're going to have to stabilize atmospheric CO2. Studying climates in the past has given Hansen a window onto the dangers posed by global warming. In the last million years, it's never been more than one degree Celsius warmer than it is now. What we are doing now with the human-made greenhouse gases is an order of magnitude larger, and it's being introduced very rapidly. If the world warms by two degrees, some changes to the biosphere are no longer gradual. Greenland's glaciers are disappearing. So much ice has melted, polar bears struggle to survive. Insects migrate in strange new directions. As a temperate climate moves north in the U.S., pine beetles kill off the white bark forests. A grizzly bear's key source of food in the fall. New forests take root in Canada's melting tundra. The Pacific islands of Tuvalu are lost beneath the rising tides of global warming. This could be our world plus two degrees. At two degrees of warming, the impacts in the marine ecosystem are going to be much more severe. We're likely to lose the vast majority of the world's tropical coral reefs. It's a problem that's keeping Ove Herr Goldberg up late into the night. To some, it might seem almost incredible that we could change something as vast as the ocean. I mean, the Pacific Ocean, I mean, if you just take that huge bowl of water, how could we change it? A marine biologist at the University of Queensland in Australia, Ove is tracking changes in coral reefs. They're acting a little bit like a canary in the coal mine. Miners used to take a little bird down with them, and when the bird got sick, they knew to withdraw because there was gas building up in the mine. Well, coral reefs are, you know, a beautiful, biodiverse uh, part of the earth, and the very fact that that's disappearing should have all of us worried, just like the canary in the coal mine. If the world warms by three degrees, the Arctic is ice-free all summer. The Amazon rainforest is drying out. Snow caps on the Alps all but disappear. El Nino's extreme weather patterns become the status quo. The Mediterranean and parts of Europe wither in searing summer heat. This could be our world plus three degrees. In a three degree warmer world, these kinds of summer heat waves will just be the norm. 
So an extremely hot summer by this point will actually bring the kinds of temperatures into Central Europe that you now experience in the Middle East and in Northern Africa. The summer of 2003 may have opened a window onto life in a world that's three degrees warmer. All across Europe, an unrelenting heat wave developed into a natural disaster. Paris tends to empty in the summer. Many elderly stay behind. Nobody could have anticipated the danger they'd be in. Emergency room doctors were the first to realize something was terribly wrong. Emergency room doctor Patrick Palou quickly realizes the heat wave is turning into a catastrophe. You had such a heat wave comparable to a flamethrower igniting an entire area. The number of people who died on the night of August 10 is between 2,500 and 3,000. The death toll would top 30,000 across Europe. In France alone, over 14,000 died in just a few weeks. The heat wave of 2003 was probably the first huge catastrophe due to global warming that affected a rich country. A rich country that thought itself to be protected from everything. Well, that was wrong. 